Being in academia is hard. As academic writers, we often feel isolated and alone. We can feel like we're the only ones who are struggling to meet deadlines, to stay motivated, or to find our voice. But we are not alone. There are thousands of other academic writers out there who are feeling the same way as you. Something academia really needs is more solidarity. Solidarity is a powerful force of unity, shared responsibility that can help us achieve great things both individually and collectively. So here are three ways you can cultivate solidarity. Number one, develop solidarity with yourself. This means being kind to yourself, forgiving yourself for mistakes, and celebrating your successes. You are likely to make mistakes, to struggle, to experience setbacks on your academic journey. We all are. Solidarity with yourself is about creating an internal culture inside yourself of kindness, where in moments of inevitable pain and difficulty, you turn toward yourself with a compassionate and open heart and with understanding rather than judgment and self-criticism. You make it a priority to notice and appreciate your progress and your accomplishments. When you practice cultivating solidarity with yourself, you are in a sense on your own team, unified with you, actively supporting and encouraging yourself, especially when you're struggling. And by cultivating self-solidarity, you are helping yourself work more effectively and feel better along the way. Number two, develop solidarity with your work. Your work needs you to show up and meaningfully engage with it. Imagine that your work could speak to you. What would it tell you that it needs from you? How would your work want you to behave? What boundaries would your work want you to set and maintain with, for example, your phone, social media, reading more articles, or your own perfectionistic tendencies? How would your work want you to set up your digital and physical environment? Consider how can you operate in greater solidarity with your work and what it needs from you for progress to be made? And honoring what your work needs will help you be more focused, more engaged, and productive. Number three, develop solidarity with others. Solidarity with others means supporting each other, sharing our knowledge, our resources, and lifting each other up. And we all can play a role in improving academic culture because we know it needs an upgrade. We can make it a better environment for us all. Seek out others who you can support and who can support you. There are other people in academia who want to experience more unity, more connection, more cooperation, and provide mutual support and aid. Be open to giving and receiving help. Look for opportunities to be an ally and share your work with others. We can stand in solidarity and upgrade academic culture for us all. So if you're feeling isolated, you've been feeling overwhelmed, please know you are not alone. There are so many other academic writers out there who feel the same way. I've been a dissertation for coach for 23 years, I know. When we come together in solidarity with ourselves, the work itself and with each other, we really can achieve great things. So if you wanna practice solidarity and you wanna experience it firsthand, Sign up for a free seven days of co-working in our virtual community, the Academic Writer Space. We offer 25 facilitated co-working sessions every week, and we get real work done together in real time. So let's make progress and reach our goals. See you on Zoom, my friends.